Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a nice equation with logarithms. We have 5 to the power log x equals 50 minus x to the power log 5. This problem looks insurmountable, doesn't it? Whatever that means. Now, we have a non-standard equation. Because 5 to the power log x kind of looks exponential and logarithmic, maybe a mixture. And x to the power log 5 looks more like a polynomial, even though log 5 is not an integer, or I should say non-negative integer maybe. Maybe a power function, right? So there are different kinds. Can we guess and check? Maybe, but it could be hard. Let's go ahead and use substitution, because substitution is awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and set this equal to t. Obviously, you could also set the other one equal to t. And from here, we get 5 to the power log x equals t. Now, or should we do log x equals t, right? Which one do you like better? I like the second one. So I'm going to go with the second one, log x equals t. Because the reason why I don't pick the first one is because, well, there's no good reason, but the first one looks more complicated. <laughs> Anyways, so if log x, log x is equal to t, log x is equal to t, that's kind of nice by using the definition, because when I don't write the base, it means uh, base 10, right? Hopefully you know that. And that's pretty much the case most of the time. So from here, we can say that 10 to the power t is equal to x by using the definition. Make sense? So x equals 10 to the power t, and obviously, this is true on both sides. And we can go ahead and plug it in. So remember, we had 5 to the power log x equals 50 minus x to the power log 5. Now we're going to replace log x with t, right? And x with 10 to the power t. And that's going to be pretty interesting. Let's do it. So we get 5 to the power t equals 50 minus 10 to the power t to the power log 5. And you might be wondering what this is going to look like, right? So there's a couple of ways to go about it. One of them is you take this and then the exponents are multiplied. So I can kind of write it as t to the power, I mean 10 to the power t log 5. Again, there are two ways to go about it. You can either move this t back as an exponent or you can use the property that if you have a to the power x to the power y, it's a to the y to the power x. Of course, we're talking about real values. Not, we're not talking about complex numbers. The complex world is obviously very different. Does this hold for all complex numbers? That's a good question. Anyways, now, so I can do the following. I can go ahead and write this as 10 to the power log 5 to the power t. So hopefully you follow from here. We can switch the exponents. And then... 10 to the power log 5 is 5. Hopefully you know that a to the power log b is, oops, what am I talking about? Not a to the power. 10 to the power, oops, 10 to the power log a is just a because 10 to the power and log are inverse functions and they kind of undo each other. Makes sense? You can kind of cross them out like this, which is nice, right? So this is 5 and guess what we get from here? 5 to the t equals 50 minus 5 to the t, because this is 5. Awesome. Let's take a look. We have like terms. They like each other. What can I do? 5 to the t plus 5 to the t equals 50. And then, and then, you can just divide by 2, because this is 2 times 5 to the t, and then this gives us 5 to the t equals 25. That's nice, isn't it? And that gives us t equals 2. But t is not the end goal, because t is log x. We're looking for x, aren't we? No. So, set log x equals to 2, equal to 2. And from here, again, by using the definition, basis 10, remember, 10 to the second power is x, or x equals 100. Nice, right? Awesome. So, that's such a large number, and if you think about it, that might be a little hard to guess, don't you think? 5 to the log x equals 50 minus x to the log 5. And this is 100, and this is 100. Eh, that's a little hard to guess, obviously, if you don't know some of the properties, which I'm going to talk about. All right, so now, what does this give us? Or 
what is going on here, right? So here's the thing. Let's talk about it. We have a to the power log b equals b to the power log a, which is a very nice property. We just talked about 10 to the power log something, but this is any base a. So as long as these a and b are switched around, we get an identity or equality. But what is the base? Well, the base can be anything. You can put in base x here and it'll still work as long as a and b are switched around and x stays the same. Make sense? So by using this property, we get the following, right? We get 5 to the power log x equals or from this equation, from this equation, we're basically going to be getting the following. Let's keep the left hand side the same but replace x to the log 5 with 5 to the log x. Awesome. Put these on the same side, right? So from here, we can do the following. Let's go ahead and put these on the same side first. 5 to the log x plus x to the log 5 is equal to 50. And then we're going to place 5 to the log x with x to the log 5, y, because it's more fun that way, you'll see. And then this sum is going to equal 50. And then when you double this, it's going to be 50. So if you cut in half, one of these is going to be 25. Think about it. Something plus the same thing equals 50. So cut in half, you're going to get 25. Well, it doesn't look very straightforward, does it? Now take a look at this. Can you guess? Again, that's a little bit hard. But let's do the following. We can go ahead and log both sides. So let's go ahead and get rid of this frame and log both sides. And we're going to get log this, log that. I'm not putting parentheses because I'm about to move this guy to the front. Log 5 times log x equals log 25. But I can write it as 5 squared. And again, I can move this guy to the front. And that's going to give me 2 log 5. Awesome. And then I get log 5 times log x equals 2 log 5. We hopefully know that log 5 does not equal 0, right? Obviously. Cross them out, divide by that, and this gives us log x equals 2 as before, and this implies that x equals 100. If you don't know uh, what this is going to turn into, again, you can use our awesome property, 10 to the log x equals 10 to the second. But remember, 10 to the power log something is something, x equals 10 squared, which is 100. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graph. A graph. And then we'll finish up with that. All right. Here's the graph of these two functions. And they intersect at x equals 100, which is the only, only real solution. Are there any complex solutions? Good question. Maybe we'll look at that problem later. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.